Hello and welcome to Castle Doctrine. Following my tutorial on how to build a combination lock, we are going to be starting afresh. And I fancy doing a video, again, mostly consisting of robbery. So we're going to make this painfully easy for the robbers. I am going to try and save my wife as best I am able. I feel it is only right. I am, however, going to do so in perhaps a less than than uh, acceptable way by trying to use my children as a giveaway. We're going to build this up like so and put some dogs down here and have them believe that this was my family's escape route. Perhaps put that up there and maybe get rid of this and drop a few dogs down. Hopefully, they will see the kids come up, see the dog come up, put the dog to sleep or something, and then see no wife for a little while and be like, oh, right, she, well, she must be dead then. So, we're just going to put a dog there and a dog there. And go on, we'll put a dog there as well. And run down here. I know this is despicable, using pit bulls in this way, but I just want them to take what's in the vault and then leave. And I best make a little bit of a why a maze for my wife to be stuck in for a little bit that sounds awful but it is for your own good i promise everything i do i do to try and prolong your life there we go that that should do uh, that leaves us with a little bit of money to buy some tools and go out and rob i hope to get well i guess it's not really much point in doing this since uh I could well die at any point. Why am I in here? I want to be in the backpack. It might not be the best thing to have done, but uh, we'll roll with this. Hopefully we'll come back to a house with a live wife and children. All will be well in the world, and I will be happy. And then we'll start building a proper trap. Um, no, we want a crowbar, at least one. Right, I think this is ready. There we go. Result. Wow, there are lots of people with high amounts of money now. I'm not sure if it... Wow. Wow. That is seriously crazy. I'm not sure if it's because they've got combination locks. I am going to pop my head into this house just to see. Oh, there's a dog right on this, this point. Uh, how the dog got there? I don't know. But... Uh, to let you know, if I'd done anything, I, you can't attack the dog at that point. If you do anything at all, the dog will kill you. And you can't click on your own tile, so uh, that is very, very much broken. Well done to whoever managed to do that. I'm not even sure how you managed to get the dog to go there, because... Oh, unless you moved back... Well, no, I can't even imagine that that would work. Strange. Oh, I've got an idea how. I'll quickly show you. This could be wrong. What I imagine happened is someone was stood here. There was a dog there. And for some reason, they shot and or put to sleep or, or did something. They, they used a ranged attack on a dog that was behind that dog. Or shot the wife. Or child or something. But that counts as a turn, so that dog that was here would have moved on to this tile and killed them. And thus would then be stood there for the next robber. Perhaps that was done intentionally? Oh, did... Did someone rob my vault? Yes, yes, I believe they did. Those swines. Um, you know what? Let's move this vault. We'll put the vault down here. That's right. You're going to have to run through the gauntlet if you want my vault. And we'll move you. We'll put you up here. Where are you? Behind this door. <laughs> so you have to race down. Let's just make sure there's enough time. One, two, three, four, five, I think. And just count that again because I moved twice. One, two, three, four. Five, six. Oh, you would move there. Seven. So you'd have one space between you to get to the vault. 
If you made a wrong turn, didn't do something wise, like went up instead of down, that that's the end for you. So let's do this. There we go. Goodbye, children. There. We're going to continue doing our thing. And when we come back, you, you know me. I, I won't actually have a trap that involves pit bulls in that way. But we... Oh. Oh, dear. Curtis. Melissa. Debbie. Pits everywhere. Pits for as far as the eye can see. Are there dogs over here? There are not. But there are powered doors. Hmm. Hmm. Um. Are there loads of dogs running towards me right now? Hmm. Uh, I don't have a ladder. This I like this design though. I like the use of pits. It's uncommon. You don't see it very often, but okay, caution to the wind. Let's go and have a look. All right. What have we discovered? We've discovered many things. This seems to be a exercise in I'm gonna lock myself in, aren't I? I know it's gonna happen. If I press this, it's gonna power all well, okay. Let's do this. I'm gonna get off that as soon as I possibly can, because I don't trust that there's not something else out there trying to kill me. And what have we got down here? If I step on that, I'm going to be locked in. So no. I think this is passing power. Because we saw there was a there was a steel wall down here alongside all of those doors. And this is now passing power. So I'm assuming this wall goes all the way down there. This, however, if I stood on that, would lock all of these doors around me. I could crawl by my way out, but I don't think I would need to. This should be designed... With a view that uh, it's not possible to lock yourself in early on. Oh, no. Maybe I'm wrong. Ah, that's interesting. Um, hmm. This is curious. Quite curious. How do I do this, then? Am I perhaps meant not to turn this one on first? Is that the key? Is this one, has this one got to be turned off before you do anything else? This power plant controls this area only as far as this. These trap doors. Wow, there's a lot of money's worth, by the way. And this area as well. Okay, I'm locked in, but trusty crowbar allows me to get out. There we go. Um, hmm. I'm not sure. Let's go have another look down here. This is receiving power from something. But what is the question? It could simply be that down there is some sort of combination. You've got to walk in a certain pattern to unlock this door. And the rest of this is just a ruse. If so, well done. We will give it one more attempt, though. Now... As we've noticed, this goes nowhere. This doesn't connect to that in any way. And thinking about it, we wouldn't want it to anyway. If we have a look down here, we don't want power coming down. Oh, well, actually we do. We want power going down there. Hmm. Well, I think that this system is no longer functional. There's one thing we could do. One more thing we could try. And that is to activate the system, then wander around along the path down there, in hopes that somehow that causes this to trigger. Because there could be a switch down there now that is receiving power. And as we move around, it'll activate. So let's try that again. Does this work? No. Is this of significance? Maybe I only step that far and then walk back? No. Let's try it again. Something else. Like that. No. Okay. Okay. You've bested me, Trap. Well done. I'm leaving now.
Goodbye, House of Drew Keith Dixon. Unfortunately, your wife and children have been killed by probably by someone who was. Well, it could be by someone who was incredibly frustrated, but as they were killed, all three of them like that. I don't know. Maybe. Ah, uh, return to our home. We have no no new monies. I wasn't expecting it. Let's check our security tapes, though. The one person who managed to steal loads of cash. Gavin Jeremy Gregory. Play tape. You more than likely just turned straight up. Yep. Well done. <laughs> well, I did design it to be simple, just to get you out of the house, I suppose. Now then, let's have a look. Truth Keith Dixon? No. Eh, it's a good house, though. Let's try this for then. Lawrence Ro uh, Roosevelt Earl. Roosevelt. Hmm. This I dislike. Um. Well. See. Um. Let's go this way. Oh, bugger. Problem here is we are now locked in. Turn off. Oh no, we're not. Ha ha! I have foiled your evil plan, you cunning swine. That's right. Oh, I walked on a sleeping dog. Oh, what a... Uh, there are not words for how stupid that was. The amount of times that I have mocked people for doing that. Ah, oh, fine. Fine, you win. We're going to do exactly the same thing as we did last time. A temporary vault. I can't believe that. Andy, come with me. We will never speak of how stupid your father was in his past life, Andy. You know. I can see it in your eyes. But you're not going to say it. There is an unwritten rule amongst gentlemen. Such matters as those must never be spoken of. Let's make this a little bit more cunning. Jacqueline. Ooh, that's a nice name. A bit exotic. Seems we married someone from the continent. Alright, let's get you nice and safe, Jacqueline. Then we will add some dogs to save the children's There we go. Should take you a while to get out of there. I can't believe I let myself die in such a stupid way. I am shamed. Truly, I am shamed. Let's go over here. So let's not let them see the dogs that are hurtling towards them. And we'll have one dog up here as well. Now, if a burglar came in and was walking down here, what would they see? They would see the children running up. And they would also have seen that there was nothing behind here. So let's draw this out a bit. And... You know what? I, I don't really think there's much point in having a powered door. It's just going to take more money. But at the same time... Um... Go on then. Let's. I, I I can't leave a house when it hasn't had some tr sort of trickery built into it. I refuse. Like like so. There we go. And we'll get rid of that, so that the dogs down there can get out at them. And we'll put a door there. Now, with our poultry remaining some, let's uh, buy some tools. Well, one of those. <laughs> And one of those. That, well, is that enough? We've got a little bit more money. We've got about 100 that we can spend. Um, we'll buy two water. Two drugged meats. And you know what? Yeah, we'll take a ladder. I rarely ever take ladders. So, And a doorstop. Because that would have come in handy in the last house as well. Right then, let's prove that this is safe. Or at least rather fair. There we go. Not the best design in the, in the world, I agree, but it works. Alright. 
Eric Matthew Brito. You've got a lot of money there, Eric. Hello, Daisy. Oh, that's a nice thing. You're carrying a lot of money. You you are seriously in danger. Jacqueline, Andy, yeah, just get out. And you know what? Don't come back. Just keep going, because there are a lot of... I'm not going to say what they are, but they know what they are. Who would have just killed you then? And it's terrible that your husband would have put you in such danger. Eric Matthew Britos, you are a swine. You are not a gentleman. And I'm leaving because, yeah, that. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. <sighs> These non-loving husbands. I don't know. What is the world coming to? No, we've been there. Um, let's try Thomas Allen Park's house. Oh, wow. Hello, Thomas Allen Park. Hello, dog. How about... You go to sleep there. Oh, no! You swine! <laughs> you cunning swines! That was well done! I like that. I like that a lot. Well done. But, damn you! <laughs> well, this is what a, a burglary episode is going to be like, I'm afraid. It's going to just be me rebuilding my house over and over again, making it a little bit more complicated each time, because it's in my nature to do so. And dying a lot. So uh, I hope you're uh, ready for this. And I really wish my mouse would stop double clicking when I single click. I need to look into this. I've had a little bit of a look on the forums for the Logitech G500 mice. And it seems other people have had the same issue. Which kind of is the worst possible thing that I could have read. Because now I'm thinking, oh, it may be a hardware issue. And that is terrible. I do not have enough money to buy another mouse. And I quite like this one, honestly. Especially its little weights that you can stick in the the heel of it to change how heavy the mouse is. Uh, it would be a shame if I had to get rid of it and replace it with some sort of generic Microsoft mouse. It's not so bad in this game, I must confess, since, uh, generally speaking, the only time that double-clicking really becomes a, an issue is if you're building the house where you're not really under a time constraint. But uh, there are some games where that is definitely an issue. XCOM for one. EVE for another. Right. Now then, we want to put... Um, let's see. If we put the power plant there, and we have powered walls coming up, and then a... Well, no, actually, we want the powered walls going straight up, don't we? So that this locks them out of there. Uh, like so. Though, equally so, we could have that power... Uh, no, we couldn't. Well, we could, as long as we put the children above it. Okay, we'll do that. And we'll put the power plant up here instead. This way... Should that become broken, it'll shut that door. So they'd have to use a saw then to get out. Which I'm happy with them doing, honestly. I don't mind if they have to do that. My main thing is just not letting them out again. So they have to face the dogs. So if they come down here now, we'll fill that in as well. So there's a dog there. Three dogs over here who are currently hurtling towards them. If they go up there, instant death. If they come down here, possibly instant death. In fact, we've got enough money for another dog, so why not? Just to dissuade anyone from being cunning and walking in there and then shorting the whole power plant. But, uh, yeah, so dogs everywhere. Come in there, dog. Come over there, locked out, dogs. Come down here. Also, you know, even if they manage to get back in, that is locked. So, uh, yes, not too bad. Uh, hmm. That's interesting. I just realised that this would potentially make it impossible to get through if they had killed our wife. If we draw that out. That out. 
let's just see how does that look yeah you can see so if we draw this out a little bit further ah oh, damn we're running out of money so no let's not do that let's draw that out further though well no we do need the money so we'll leave a hundred dollars for ourselves but what i was thinking is if they came came down here lock that door somehow managed to get past the dogs maybe there'd be enough time for them i doubt it though but they might have the tools to stop them and worse comes to worse they are then just left wandering around wondering what to do whilst the wife is running for the way out dear jacqueline they then kill her they will have saved the system with that turned on thus it would be impossible to reach the vault under normal circumstances without tools which is interesting let's get rid of this that's a decent system now all right so let's fill up our backpack with some tools saw crowbar you know tools of the trade door stop we're not mm, well, i might take a ladder uh we don't have enough money so no so we'll just take three water two drug meat a door stop a crowbar and a saw and that looks good for us now let's just make sure that i can get down here yes it should be okay and if i die to my own trap well it's my own fault for being a coward haha -ha! oh wow you have exactly that much time to get down here you can do nothing else because the dog will walk on the pressure plate i hadn't considered that it's very lucky that that worked in my favor because that would have killed me otherwise well done dogs also that means if someone manages to successfully open wow totally unintentional i have made an unsolvable trap once someone has broken it once once someone has killed someone or once someone has broken in wow well done me robert charles smith oh i like these I do like these. I'm not going to try it. That would be ridiculous. But I like them. Basically, this is a this is a a maze. It's one of those hidden in plain sight mazes. If you've played uh, Zelda: Link's Awakening, or sorry, uh, Zelda: Link to the Past, Link's Awakening. I, I'm getting the games wrong. How could I do that? Especially to that particular game, my lord. But you will remember there were hidden path mazes. You could use certain tools, like lighting the ground and things like that, to work out where you went. And in fact, if you played Dark Souls, again, Walk of Faith mazes. Though they were generally quite straight. But what we've got here is somewhere outside of our view, there are chihuahuas or cats. And they're going to move in extremely specific ways, depending on our movements. They're in their own little mazes. And what happens here is you have to pick an exact path. Someone has suggested I make a tutorial for this, but... I imagine people can work this out themselves. They don't need a tutorial on this. This is It's more tedious to build something like this than complicated. But you, you'd have a, a, a maze for these dogs and cats to move through. And depending on your movement, is at certain very important points, will dictate whether those dogs or cats will take a certain turn at a junction. And one turn will lead to a, a, a sticky switch or something, which will light up this whole system and kill you. The correct turn will lead them into some sort of dead end where they're not going to be able to get out. And there's possibly two or three or maybe even four different animals in the system at various locations. Like, for example, one over here, one down there, one over here, and one up there. And you, you're basically coordinating the movements of all four at any one time. There's only going to be one route to get to this. Or there may be more, because, as I said, the systems are quite complicated and it's very easy to introduce uh, and intended ways through the maze but uh, yeah the wrong move the whole thing lights up i find these systems extremely cunning uh but they are trial and error the odds of you guessing the right way through the system the first try extremely small especially with one this big so these only really reward the people who know the, the path through it or the ones who've died over and over again and are willing to just keep coming back and as much as I like the systems, I dislike traps that require that. So let's return to our house, where we have $22. Does anyone? No. Didn't expect there had been. Damn it. Right, let's have a look then. James William Buckles, 
this is almost certainly going to be death straight off the bat. Oh no, Lisa, Leslie, and Latino. No. That would be funny if you had an L name like Larry or Lawrence. But alas, no. Now, I can easily get my way out, but this is a combination lock. Um, there's not much point. I'll, I'll tr give it a try, though, I suppose. I'll break that part of the lock. Because if I broke that, then I would break the whole system. Now then, how do we want to do this? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, let's, uh, let's do the odd numbers. So one, three, five, and seven. No, okay. Uh, maybe six as well. No. On the off chance, maybe two. No. I doubt that. No, I didn't think it would. Okay, fine. We're leaving. I gave it a try, but no. Goodbye, little Charlie. Um, do tell your father that I, I pass on my condolences. Back to our house. Empty-handed again. The children and, the, and our wife, they're not, they're not happy with our failure as a burglar. I think we've been there. Let's have a look. Let's try out Robert Richard Siddell. Oh, ha-ha! Hello, Carl. Malene. Uh, Malene? <laughs> Terrible. Melanie. And uh, Casey. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Melanie. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm going to steal your money to hide my shame. Right, okay, so we've got a little bit more money now. Let's go ahead and build this out a bit. Let's lock these dogs into this system, shall we? Uh, oh, it's, it's so cheesy doing this, but ah, why? Why do I do this? Let's put a door here as well, and another dog trap. Though perhaps this one could be a not obvious dog trap until you're up here. Yes, I like that. We will build that dog trap up later. But for now, that is the dog trap. So, you walk in, you have a few choices. Yeah. I, again, I really dislike using these sorts of traps. I apologise profusely. But, uh, oh, no, we're out of money. Okay, so we'll get rid of this then. There we go. Let's done this trap and run straight down. Oh, of course, that's no longer going to activate. That's not actually what we want. We want to uh, let them activate this. So, let's do that, shall we? Yes, I think that's the best way to do it. And uh, as much as I don't... Well, mm, we could sell that. No, no, we're, we're going to go out. We've, we've allowed the dogs now to get down there. This person is committed, but has danced around a bit. I don't know. They're stuck on something. Hmm. I wonder what. What did you get stuck on? Hmm. Clearly, I need one of the dogs to get down there earlier. Let's pull that back a bit. I know, I've wasted all this money on a system that I'm not using. No? Still not? Hmm. How have I broken my house? Fine. Okay. You win. I will put one of the dogs back to where he was. Like there. Hopefully, that will encourage that particular dog to run down along here. And eventually break the system. Though, I... Uh, Damn it, I'm just going to have to get rid of that. That entire wall was a waste of money, it looks like. Because I need at least one of the dogs to be in a position, yeah, to get caught on that area. There we go, though. Our trap is restored. Have a look around. Robert Charles Smith. Let's see. Craig Scott Cummings. Let's check out your place, Craig. Well, there's a dog there. Go to sleep for a bit. Hello, childrens. Uh, some doors up there. Anything down here? Hello, Sandra. No, no, go on. I have no business with you. You're free to leave. With half of Craig's money. 
Well, I suppose it's half of your money as well. Let's not be sexist now. Okay, so we've got a room over here with a door. That's electrified. Hmm. Do I end the episode like this? Do I? Because I've got a sneaking suspicion that this area over here in the darkness is going to have some sort of dog in it that's just waiting for me to step on the wrong thing. There, specifically, I believe, is my death. But you know what? Let's do this. Let's not be cowards. And, uh... <laughs> this is death. No? Not death yet? It should already be death. No! Ha-ha! <laughs> I, I win! Bravery has rewarded us with $126. That was not worth the risk, but I took it anyway. But on that note, I am going to be ending this episode. I know by uploading this in the, in the next uh, 20 odd minutes, which is usually how long it takes me to upload an episode once I've recorded it, I am inviting a certain someone to come along and kill my wife. But uh, I do this knowingly. It's not as though I don't realize he's just waiting to see what my trap is like so he can come and kill my wife. It's all fun and games at the end of the day, although it does pain me to see my wife die, especially to such a cheap tactic, but at the same time it's kind of flattering really that someone is sifting through these houses not knowing my name, only knowing the balance, and of course after this I'm going to do a little bit more robbery or spend some money, so it's not exactly going to be this. And if anyone dies in my house it's going to change the balance again. But uh, yeah... It is kind of flattering that they spend all that time looking for my house out of, a, out of a stack of, you know, random houses just to kill my wife. Not knowing whether she's already dead or not, because someone may have already gotten there first. Who knows? Uh, in fact, uh, well, no, we know she's not dead because uh, I would have had to have rebuilt my house. But on that note, that's the end of this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. When we come back, I'll probably do another episode of Mostly Robbing and just doing little things in the house, not really poring over any grand designs as I have done in the past. I just feel like uh, having a bit of fun and seeing if I, if I can best other people's designs for a while. So, see you in the next episode. I hope you've enjoyed this one, but until then, do take care.